We are prepared to go. All black bags. We have all black bags. All black and everything. And our Uber is coming. We have decided to do business class tickets for our flight overseas. This is the first time we have ever bought business class for ourselves and it is very exciting. We've both taken business class separately and we're going to Munich so it's a long one, like 10 hours. We will show you the business class experience. Yes, this is the first time we are in a hurry to get on the airplane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we made it to our seats. This is amazing. They give you a nice pillow, a blanket, a little welcome kit, headphones, and storage units. A couple options to choose from. My favorite down here, we have the ice cream sundae cart later. <laughs> if Haley gets a little too annoyed <laughs> while I'm trying to watch my movie, I can just sit <laughs> chose this middle section. There's all different seating arrangements. Every other one is together. The one in front of us is separate, so you have to think about that. If you're like a couple and you want to sit together. We were trying to decide whether we wanted the window. Yeah. Because I love the window, but it's an overnight flight, 8 p.m., so we decided we'd rather sit next to each other. Yes. And now we're happy we did that because, yes. like, how fun. We have made it to Germany. Didn't sleep much, but uh, we are here and we're headed to downtown for the night. arrived in France and all our bags came too. Didn't have to pick them up overnight when we stayed at our layover in Munich so we just got to come here and they arrived here. We like really didn't have faith that was gonna happen but it was amazing. Now we have to get our car and we have not even booked a place to stay tonight so we have things to do. It's nine in the morning so we have some time. so sleepy. We have made it to France, but I have not conquered my jet lag yet. We woke up at four, we went to the train station, got on the train, went to the airport, and arrived in Lyon around nine. We got our first class seat on this flight too, which was great because they served us breakfast, but we also went to the business class lounge at the airport, and they had an even better breakfast. So Lufthansa Lounge, you win. We are the worst decision makers. I think it's official. No, we've made lots of decisions. <laughs> we, we decided- could, We could get better. We decided to have croissants. We did, we actually made one pit stop on our way after we rented our car to get here and we had croissants. We finally got just like a very basic, I guess two wheel drive car with no snow tires and the roads are just fine. It's April. The whole way here, I looked online to try to find a place to stay. We didn't know where we wanted to stay. This is how last minute this is. I have like a couple things booked, not that much. So we finally decided on Maribel, which is part of the three valleys. Like Mount the Rens is on our list, the Arcs, La Plagne, and Val d'Isere. And so we we're planning on Valisere, but this weekend's Easter weekend, so a lot of stuff is booked. We weren't finding anything affordable. And when I'm talking about like affordable, like everything was like $500 a night, which is just more than we want to spend since we're going to be here for three weeks. 
so we went to Maribel and I just found this place in the middle of it, walked in and asked if they had any rooms and they told us no, but then we checked booking and they had one so we just booked it. Now we're here. It's a pretty little tour of the room. Cute and quaint. It'll take about one second. Our bags take up the whole space. Make sure you show them the art. <laughs> oh, the art. But we do have a nice balcony. When we got here, they told us that there is a DJ battle tonight. So that's going to be happening right there. And so I don't think we're going to be sleeping very much. They're testing it out right now and we can hear it inside. So even though we haven't slept, we will not be getting sleep. You're like just too tired tonight to participate. So we actually ordered a pizza from across the street. I'm going down to grab it and we're going to eat it in our hotel room, which is so lame, but I don't know. We have a long trip ahead of us, so I can't do it all or else like I don't want to get sick at the beginning of the trip, you know? But this is crazy. Like, you can hear this just bumping through the whole hotel. <laughs> okay, let's go find it. Tell me about your pizza. We got some raclette and potato and prosciutto on the pizza. That's fun. That's for you. So oh, thank you. Pizza. Yeah, it's good. Good morning from Maribel. It is time for us to become fully French and get our pastries and coffee from the boulangerie. So we are walking over. They only have one though. So we're afraid it might not have much competition. Since we have the pass that allows us to ski at Courchevel, Maribel, and Valterens, we can come up here and ski down into Courchevel and then come back up and play around everywhere. And there's so much terrain. I was thinking we should play in Courchevel because we do have to end up at Maribel at the end of the day. So you never want to get stuck in a different valley. And it's so big that you can be so far away. So that's a little sketch, but let's go skiing. We are currently in Courchevel, which is beautiful, so beautiful, and trying to just find some lines. The area is so massive that it's hard to even know where you're going or how far you've gone, and the lifts just seem to continue forever. Most people stay on the piste, so you can kind of explore off the piece and try to find good snow. And the snow we were just on, which is right behind us, was really nice. Yeah. But now we're going to go find something a little bit longer and hopefully good snow as well. Owen has found his new goal in life. <laughs> Mid-mountain airport. <laughs> straight to the restaurant, straight to the slopes. Gotta get those Gandhi. Wow, oh my gosh, it's Gucci. Stopping in Courchevel, which is, it has to be ritzier than Aspen. We have people in full on suits in front of their stores. I took Haley's credit card away because <gasps> there is Fendi and Louis Vuitton. Not going shopping. Maybe. <gasps> it is beautiful, but also Insane. 1550. 1650. I'm having 1350. We're in Maribel now 
and we're at the very furthest point that you can get to. And it's so far. There's so much terrain that you can ski. We came up the first gondola where that brown mountain is, which is really far. And then I skied all over in Courchevel and now we're checking out this area just to get kind of an idea of what's here. And we still haven't even touched Val Thurin, so that's gonna to have to be a tomorrow project. This terrain's pretty wild. Like if you go off piste, you're just kind of by yourself and can go anywhere. Oh, and down there. Our first spritz on the mountain, and it's such a cute spot. There's so many restaurants on top of the mountain. We picked this one because we thought it had a really good view, yes. which it does. Skied a lot of Courchevel and Maribel today, and we'll ski Valtherins tomorrow. I think I mentioned this, but there are three valleys, and you have to have a separate ski ticket for each one. But we have the ski ticket that includes all three, which Highly would recommend that one because it would be, I guess you could stay, but it can get confusing if you don't know where you're going and then all of a sudden you drop into the wrong resort because they're all connected. You just have to make sure that you're close to your resort at the end because now the lifts are closing and after this spritz we're going to have to ski down. So we're on the Maribel side because yeah. that's where we're going. Otherwise it's an hour, hour and a half drive or what did they say? $300 taxi ride? Yeah, like crazy. Might as, at that point, you might as well get like a hotel in the wrong town. But but then again, all the hotels in Florence were like, yeah, so maybe it wouldn't be as good. But we are going to enjoy this in the sun. So nice. I'm glad we're not on that side. <laughs> yeah, they get the shake. The best apres ski snack ever. Bread from the boulangerie and a little truffle cheese. Truffle cheese! Oh, it's so delicious. From this place called Fardo. <laughs> <laughs> and a rose. Egg. We have the bougiest chair lift right now. Another day, another beautiful day. And we're gonna go try a new resort. We have finally made it to Val Thorens. <laughs> it took us a really long time, like over an hour from Maribel. We're like 10 miles from where we started this morning. <laughs> it's crazy and the lifts just keep going. They just keep going. And apparently there's like another part of this resort on the other side. Small chalet village up here in the mountains really high. It's the highest resort. Is it the highest resort in France? I yeah. think it is. So it keeps snow the longest. It stays open longer than Courchevel and Marybelle, which have closing weekends. Yeah, next weekend. Yeah, we're still trying to get to the top of this mountain. Just to get the view and then uh, maybe we'll find something to ski instead of just uh, traversing over all these lifts. Yeah, it's a lot of traversing. There's a lot of people out. I don't know if this is normal, but it is the weekend and a perfectly sunny day and one of their last weekends. So that's probably why it got cold overnight. So it's I see lots of people. It's not my favorite type of skiing, but um, hopefully it warms up a little bit and we kind of get away from the crowds. This is not the run. So far up here. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my soul. We are checking out about the rents. So we decided to get lunch here. Have a little beer and some spaghetti. Hello. Hey, that's delish. I think it's tastes more like yours. It actually does. I feel like I did not get what I ordered. We ordered a blonde, but maybe we got the... What was the other the one? The white. What was it called? It started with a B. 
Blanche. It's a really beautiful view. Kind of just like a resort town built up, obviously, up in the hills like this. So it doesn't have too much of a town, I don't think. But it does have beautiful views. I'm out here trying to get some photos for Owen. He makes me go to some precarious locations to get these photos. So it's a little nerve wracking for me. It's like stuff I can ski. I just don't feel as confident when we get out here and there's cliffs below. So yeah, but it's really pretty and we're gonna watch him ski this. Good morning from Mary Bell. It's our third morning here, our last morning actually. We're moving on to our next place. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of what the town looks like. 8 a.m. and it's super quiet. We could not figure out the parking situation up here because it is a little ski village and there's tons of paid parking which was like $25 a night. We wanted to stay here for three days and not really move our car. We were like, there has to be better options than that rather than just like the ski parking. So we parked on the street over here and it didn't have any sign of if it was paid or anything. So we just kind of left it there. And yesterday I went up to it and it was still fine. So super happy about that. Oh my gosh, these mountains, you guys, I have to show you. The prices here are truly resort prices. I think I was expecting a little bit less because I mean, it's Europe rather than the US. And I just expected it to be kind of like a easier entry into skiing. And yes, the, pri the prices for the tickets are cheaper, but everything else is quite pricey. And then of course on mountain stuff is what you would expect as well. So yesterday I came to this grocery store. So we're going back in here today to get some breakfast. Pastries. We will be getting a chocolate one for Owen, of course. Chevelle. Now we are back to Mary Bell. All of Mary Bell and it goes on forever. We haven't even been to this area and we've been here three days already skiing all over. But it's just so massive you can't hardly get to it. <laughs> <laughs> 